I want to show you guys something. This is my private space. This right here is where I write. This space. This is the first transcript for my new book, Start Where You Are. This is where I do all of my writing. This is where I do most of my thinking. The truth of the matter is, my office downstairs is all glass. 500,000 people a day walk past that window. You can't think. You can't really get a chance to focus. I got people down there right now hollering out and you know, look, I need space and peace and quiet to think and hear myself sometimes. So this is where I come. Um, and I'm surrounded by nothing but you know, positivity, positive things, things that are, are just personal to me. Um, pictures, folks, friends, family. I think you guys might know that guy. Hmm, I met him someplace. He looks familiar. Okay, um, NAACP Image Award. Okay, great. One of my favorite photos in the whole world. That guy, I have learned so much from. Mr. P, Sidney Poitier, um, dear friend, and someone who contributed greatly to my new book, Start Where You Are. But everybody's got to have their little quiet space where they can come and hear themselves think clearly um, and be surrounded by people that inspire you. That woman, you might not recognize her, but she's a very, very important woman in the world and her name is Winnie Mandela. She's a friend. All these folks, all this stuff, this, this is my favorite picture of my favorite person in the whole world. That's my daughter. Graduation day last year, Mother's Day 2008 from Hampton University. I had to give the commencement speech. <sighs> when she walked across that stage, she became the first person in the history of my family since we got off of slave ships 400 years ago to graduate from college. So that, that's a big day. This right here, nothing but dirt, nothing special about it, but it comes out of the yard of Nelson Mandela in South Africa. If this place was on fire and there was only one thing here I could grab and get out of here with, There'd be two things. This would be number one. Uh, Winnie Mandela told me the story of how she and Nelson knew their house was booked by the then government, the apartheid regime in South Africa. And when they had to talk and they didn't want others to listen, the eavesdroppers, the bugs, they would go out into the yard and they walk around in the yard and they talk. She told me how uh, they had a dog, a Rottweiler, who was trained not to eat poison meat. The government maybe wanted to poison the dog, get into the house, install the new electronics. The dog was trained not to eat poison meat. So when they buried him, he's in the dirt. But what she said that got me the most was she said when they first took Mr. Mandela away, she didn't want them to hear her cry. So she would go out into the yard and she would cry. Thus, her tears are in the dirt. So for me, hey, that's not just dirt, that's holy ground. Um, that's a cool thing right here, fun thing. Variety, New York Times Book Review, Pursuit of Happiness, number one at the box office, number one in book sales. Bam, that's how we do it. This space right here, it's the first manuscript. Start where you are. It might not look like it, 
But that stack of books you saw me signing down there, that 5,000 books you saw me signing a little while ago, this is where it all started, right here. This is a note from my editor, Don Davis. Let's see what this says, honestly. Ooh, here's the first pass, Unbound Galleys, da 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 da. You have work to do. <laughs> Woo! And this right here, I don't know. Everybody got a hero. And my only two heroes were my mom and that guy, Muhammad Ali. And of course, Mr. Mandela. So this is my private little space. Welcome, thank you for stopping by. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.